Yep, let us know my hip hop station. It's out on 79. Your dirty J next to Flies. The Flies, you know how I'm pushing that. The Flies. Come on. Come on. Clone smelling too good. Trap house booming this thing. You hear me? Mm. I got my girl Amy checking in. Amy, what's up, girl? What's up? Man, let them know. What, what, you, how, what you go by now? I go by Amy Luciani. Okay. We go back for a long time. Long time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you've like you been like, like, I love meeting people again and seeing them in a different light and seeing that glow up because your glow up is definitely amazing. Definitely like pressure. Absolutely. We here. Pure pressure. And you got some bars. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Keep them on me. What you got going on, man? We working right now. We working right now. Just uh, finna drop the single, Bag Lady. Okay. Definitely pushing that real heavy. Just got back from Texas, going crazy. Come on. Well, tell me about Texas. Hold on. Let's, don't, don't skip over Texas too fast okay. now. Okay. Listen. South by Southwest. South by Southwest. In that thing. Had, had the girls not want to get on the stage after me. Come on now. Had Pressure. a couple of them didn't get on the stage Pressure. after me. I'm going to just put it out there. So you just so you just leave it all online. Laid it out there. Brought the bars with the body. Come on now. They came with the friend, body. You working with something now. You working with a whole lot of something. Friend, you know, I try you know what I'm saying? And you thing. dripping. You see me? Yeah. I'm and you shining. flat. Come on now. You shining. Okay, I'm working too now. Okay, so tell me about this South by Southwest. What you do? What song? What's the Amy show? Listen, we started off, we did a little this, that. We started off with a couple songs, ended with the single each show. The single was Bag Lady. So we had to hit them with the bam at the end. Okay. Had them coming up to the stage. The okay. camera phones was going crazy. So what's this like? Like, like, because I feel like so many people like nowadays trying to get in music and think it's like it happens overnight. And that's not that's not correct. It's, it's absolutely not correct. I think that a lot of people come into it and it looks so fun because you're looking at the part where it's the jewelry and the nice mm. cars. But before you obtain any of that, you got to be able to really grind it out, understand that this is something to take some real work. It's mm. not overnight. Mm. You got to put the work in, get them doors closed in your face and be willing to get up after your feelings get hurt no, and no, go no. for another door. Talk to them. Got to be ready to take the nose and then the big yes come at the end. So so is it difficult like being a woman in the game, you know, because it's like so many. I mean, I think the game has switched up. There's a lot more uh, women. You know what I'm saying? Just coming in the game and rocking. Like, I really sure. like women are really killing killing it right now. We like, doing you know what I'm it. saying? It's yeah. almost like, almost where I sometimes be shocked. Like, I remember at one point that would nobody give women a lot of chances to even rap and do music. We're not even asking for the chance no more. Come you on notice now. we taking it at this point. So, so, so what's your energy like? Like, you know what I'm saying? Bars, you go for the bars, you go for the, if nobody, if don't nobody know Amy, like what, what type of artist is Amy? I'm, Amy Luciani is the type of artist that I'm really for the women. Like, I'm for the woman that's working for it. I'm not for the woman that's sitting there waiting for, I ain't trying to be funny, but for y'all to hand it to us. I'm mm. really empowering the bosses. I feel like every girl can be a boss. I know it's been a lot of women misled to think that a boss is to put your hand out and get some money, but I feel like that wave is over. I want to see the women who sit next to me, they put the jewelry on, mm. and it ain't somebody that's going to come back and take it back from them because right. they got it themselves. So. Because you know, me and we getting smarter. Y'all getting smarter, but we, we getting we, smarter, too. We ain't going for a lot of the stuff that they used to be going exactly. for. Exactly. But neither are we. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like, y'all, I feel like, and I can say this, and it might go viral, I feel like y'all ain't got no choice. I well, feel how you like, feel? Talk, okay, talk let me, me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Talk to me, once friend. once you realize that you say you go through certain things, you said you like to sit by women that, you know what I'm saying, that get their own versus somebody taking it back. A lot of women get that shit taken back from them and thinking this guy's a good dude. And it's yeah. like, no, he lame. You played the dude that was good. You played him. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because, because he wasn't as flashy yeah. as that. You ain't got to be all live. You got that paper. Yeah. But you see, they done, they done deem like the corny dudes is the dudes that's not flashy. I feel like them the ones I really Come like. On now, right? Because I'm corny. It's backwards. I'm finna untwist all of this. Come on. Like the music I'm dropping right now is definitely, it's feel good music. It's empowering. You know, we not really just going one way. It's not always about the... You shake some ass, do that too, but you what else? You ain't coochie popping and selling coochie what else? You know, every song. After that, what else? Because that's what them girls be doing sometimes. I be like, I'm tired of y'all I'm, selling coochie. And now. I'm tired too. It's no shade. I feel like it worked, but now I know for sure it's a big group of people that's like, we want to hear some bars. We want to hear some songs that Some passion, last. Some, yeah. some, something, that, that some, something that people can like hold on to Facts. and get them through. Like I feel like Cash Doll is one of my favorites. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's coming out. You know what I mean? Just doing her thing. And that's been sis for a long time. But yep. she be kicking that flavor. For sure. You know, you know we saying? both from Detroit, so it makes sense. What up, like, though? What up, though? What up, though? So yeah. tell me, what's, what is like growing up in Detroit? Like, uh, what, what was young Amy like? Probably a little shorter because you a tall thing now. <sighs> yeah, I was tall in. You was tall in. stepping on them knee. Come on now. Uh, Detroit is just a, it's a city where you got to learn how to hustle. Um, it ain't just a city where it's just easy or gravy. If you're going to get something out there, you're going to work for it. So a lot of bosses come out of my city. Okay. And I feel like if you look around and see a lot of the Detroit people that have made it, they going real big because to make it out the city, that's definitely a person that you know was grinding. Right. Like to get up out of there and shine, you put in some work. So what is like growing up in Detroit? Because I just feel like 
every every city different. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, New York's got their stories. St. Louis got their stories. Atlanta got their stories. But what is it like being young Amy in Detroit? Like, yeah. this shit you didn't seen. Like, you know what I mean? Talk to me. I've seen a lot of hustlers. I mean, it's not... It's not dissing the city at all, but it's not the most resourceful city. Honestly, coming up, if you look at my family or my OGs, you was either going to work at the plant, you was going to work in some type of mechanical car industry, Mm. or you was going to dance or you was going to trap. You really have three options or do music. So for me, coming up, I always looked around at people and said, I'm not... I don't want to work in the car industry. I'm yeah. not going to the plant. I'm not going to dance. I ain't going on a pole. I'm not going to do that either. So I already knew coming in, like, you got to grind. I want to be a business owner. I want to be a boss. So I came up. I always was making money. I was doing here in seventh grade. Had them lined up at my mama house. Mm. I've been had a little something put up Come from on. seventh grade up. So right. you you get a hustle mentality coming from there. You either going to make it or you're not going to make it. It's not an in-between. And, and what's crazy, I can vouch for her, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? That's this uh that's viewing this because you was actually came out to my video shoot when Thanks. I was doing music. Shining. Thanks. So you was out there. We you was, caught out, them, we you was caught, out there. You caught them St. Louis dances quick too, now, friend. I oh, ain't yeah. gonna lie to you now. You and, was, and you, had to coordinate some of the girls. Remember they couldn't get the little yeah. wah, wah, wah. I, I didn't asked, even know it, but I learned it. I had some little dusties out there because you know I like dusties. They was a little crusty dusty, yeah, but you see, made it. But work. I'm good. I love dusties. You though. made it work. You know what I'm saying? And the video was fire. Yeah, I cleaned them up a little bit. You did that. So what's <laughs> next, man? Let's talk about Seth West. The new single coming out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. What's going on? Friend, Take we going what? big. Listen, the single bag lady. I actually just joined a major television platform. I KB. heard about that. Yeah. I ain't going to tell you. I, I know the scoop, but I ain't going to put it out there you like that. You know the T. Don't drop it yet. Nah, I ain't gonna, Don't uh, drop yeah. it yet. You know what I'm saying? Just know I've been working. So the TV platform is here. Of course, that's going to open up doors for the music. Um, products, still working my businesses. I just wrote a children's book. Um, I mean, children, but you got oh, kids. Yeah. How many kids you got? You got kids. I got no children, but oh, I yeah, you write children kids. books. Now you write children books, you ain't got no kids now. Listen, I wrote a book that's needed for the community. It's called Good Touch, Bad Touch, and it's a book for parents or aunts or grandparents raising kids to really have a conversation about what's inappropriate touching, mm. to know the difference, to know how to speak up. We hear a lot of times, you know, kids grow up and they say, well, when this was happening, I didn't know what he was doing at the right. time. I didn't know what she was doing. So I thought it was very important um, for, you know, parents to be able to have that conversation at a young age of what's inappropriate. Um, me being a person, I don't, I never call myself a victim, but me being a person who unfortunately has landed in a, a situation like a lot of black women have mm. as a young kid, you just don't know, like, was that inappropriate? Or do I tell on this? Or I'm scared this person might get mad or this, they might not believe me. It's just a bunch of reasons why kids don't talk about it. You know what messed me up? Like my niece. She told me, I remember she was younger, and I, I, I dropped a couple of tears. She told me, she was like, when she talked about her situation as far as getting molested or touched mm-hmm. on at a young age, she basically told me, like, all the girls in the South get raped. For sure. I said, what? It's a thing. Like, it's they're just thing. walking around, just got it? It's just like what? one of those things, like, oh, it happened. It was, it was, I was at a babysitter's house. It's almost like normal. It's not normal at all, but... It's a lot of situations. Unfortunately, mothers, a lot of black women working hard, working a bunch of jobs. Sometimes father might be present, might not Mm. be present. So we end up having to be at babysitters. Mm. I might have to be at your friend's house for extra week because your mom. It's just so many situations that land women and, and men in those situations. So I wrote a book called Good Touch, Bad Touch. It's a children's book. It's illustrated for the kids. It's um. It's really something I think will help our community and make right. it easier for parents to have that conversation because what was important for me is we wait to, you know, the girls start developing, get a little of this right. and that. And it's like, now nah, let me sit here and talk about what can happen. No, it starts way beyond that. Mm, it's, the conversation is needed once they start spending the night at people's houses. Talk so. that talk. Wrote the book, got the book coming, the music coming. We working, TV coming, you going to see me. But see, this whole thing, that book, but that book, it kind of hit different because I just feel like it's definitely needed. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you this. Being, going through it at a young age, what would you tell, like, if you could tell that little girl that's going through that right now, that little boy going through right now, what would you tell them? Um, To speak up. To speak up. I know, and it's so awkward that if something like that unfortunately happens, you can fi- find yourself being embarrassed. Like, this is embarrassing that this happened. Or, you know, sometimes you might feel like, I wasn't strong enough. Look how this happened to me. Right. So you, it's so awkward how you can be embarrassed by something like that happening. So I say speak up. You know, a lot of people aren't comfortable talking to parents, but speak to somebody. You got to let it be known. It has to it has to be talked about. And that's why I wrote the book. I'm hoping that this book 
makes people feel a little comfortable. It makes right. parents be able to say, you know what, I think my child hangs out at all these safe places, but it might raise a question to say, has anything like this happened at a friend's house? And you might be shocked to find out, like, mm. your child at five, six, seven might say this, and at the age, they didn't know that that was inappropriate. Mm. But if you ask the questions that I'm teaching you in the book, you mm. might find out, like, wow, I didn't know, Mom, that that's what was happening when he was doing this or when she asked me to do this. Right. It's, it's a conversational starter. Right. So. So, so one more question. What would you tell that parent? Because I hear a lot of stories, like, people call me up all the time, it's like, my mom don't listen to me or mm. or that boyfriend or that person, she's so caught up being, want to be yeah. in love with this dirty yep. nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That he doing shit and he, Facts. And, and he don't believe, she don't even believe her daughter, her kids was going on because she's so in love with that man. What would you tell that woman? I've, I've had a friend who went through and said she didn't tell her mom because her boyfriend was the provider mm. and before them, they were struggling. They was in and out of shelters. They got with him and she said basically her mom whole life would have been, her and her mom's life would have went downhill if she had a spoke up. So she didn't speak up. So it was almost, I don't want to say too late, but the emotional distress is there. Right. Now you a woman trying to date a man and you got all these issues. I would tell the parents to ask the questions. Um, don't pacify it to us. Don't talk about the body parts. Let them know this is that. That's what this is on your body. Don't do all the, the old school. This is your uh, cookie. All, all them fake names. No, talk about it. Right. We're we in this year where it's out there. Mm. It's searchable. It's on YouTube. It's on Google. We're not dancing up the names and making them sweet no more. It's not a sweet conversation. So I would say, um, even though I'm not a mother, I got a lot of nieces right. and I had the conversations with them. My sisters talked to me about it. Have the conversation. Ask the questions. I know it might be difficult to talk to, but you want to talk to them now versus them becoming grown women and being right. like, Ma, I never told you that, you know, this was happening. Well, why, why didn't you say it then? It's a bunch of reasons why we don't speak up. Come on now. A bunch of them. So I just tell them, have the conversation. It's, it's not an age. When they're old enough to go spend a night somebody, to somebody's house or join sports teams or might go, you might be a cheerleader going to a program for a couple of days over the weekend, have the talk. Mm. Like, talk to them about it. So it's, it's easy to feel comfortable to speak about it versus hiding the sex conversation. And once it happened, it's like, they never talked to me about this. So right. do I say this to them? I might feel uncomfortable. If you started off opening the door, like this is what this is as kids, we'll be more comfortable coming with what you talking about it versus hiding it. Okay. Now. So, Hey, so tell me about this music because on top of that. So matter of fact, run down everything you got going on, include the book. Cause that's, I feel like that book is very, very important. Like that's, that's big. Absolutely. So the book, what else? TV. Got the book, good touch, bad touch. Got the TV show rolling back in the studio. I don't even know if we working on the EP, what type of project, but we, we work, we going crazy. Um, we opening the door right now to start doing features, um, TV show, I got a product, Pretty Kitty. I just started pretty, my label. Pretty Kitty, what? Hold on now. Yeah, yeah. Cause I like Pretty Kitties. And you want it to stay pretty. Okay, now what do you what do you provide for Pretty Kitty? Okay, now let me tell you something, ladies. You might have that crunch down there. What's going on? What's the crunch? The crunch munch. The What's Nestle that? Crunch Coochie. Are you talking about? Can I say Coochie? Yeah, you can the say Nestle Crunch you want. Coochie. Are you talking about the little bumps? You, uh, more than little bumps, it's just crunchy. Yeah, I don't know munchy. how that happens. I'll okay. be confused. I'm gonna tell you how it happens, okay? Because I've somewhat became the kitty doctor. Okay, come on. So, ladies, Doctor Kitty you, checking in. There we go. Hello. Ladies, after shaving, some women, kitty get a little crazy after having kids. The skin change, waxing, you get irritation, bad diets, mm. too much soda. Y'all say soda, I say pop. Mm. Too much pop. <laughs> uh, just too much greasy foods, just an unhealthy diet. All of that irritates the skin. And as mm. black women, you know, our skin is real sensitive. The mm. hyperpigmentation, all the dark marks. Mm. You look down there and you're like, sis, what happened? Well, why why the crunch like, was you, and you supposed to put your lips on. No, that. I'm not doing it. You not? Mm -mm, I say not no, thank she you. Fine and you no, go down and it's the crunch. sir. Not happening. No, sir. Okay. I'm so, old school. I'll touch it before I even go down there. I want to okay. smell it first. Got it. Nah, okay, I'm, I'm one of them. You. I'm with you. I still believe in fingering. Okay. And then a slick whiff. Yeah, you got to. Oh wow. And do it on the slide too. Oh yes, we definitely do. I'm see, I'll tell the truth. Men do that. Or like, you know, you gotta check. When your man lay on your lap and laying down and just come back up, sniffer. he trying to smell it. Wow. Why not? Wow. You better. Okay. Ladies, you shouldn't even have to have a man doing that, sis. Get it together. I'm going to smell it anyway. I got to see what's going on. Really? Yeah. Okay. I well, got to make sure you work with the And that's what the pretty kitty is coming in place right now. Okay? okay. So we're expanding. We just have a three-step product. Okay. It's an oil. It's a natural soap bar. And it's a cream. Okay. But we're expanding. Okay. okay. So now we're getting washes for the girls now. that got the... 
not the pretty kitty, but the stinky kitty. Okay. We're expanding bigger. But for now, we got the kitty kits. Okay. And it helps clear up the bumps, the dark marks. The product can actually be used in different because it's all external and it's all natural. Okay. So we not, it's not to go inside. It's outside. Wipe the crunch away okay. with the cream and the oil and then wash it with the Wipe soap. me down. Wipe me down. Come on up. So if you got dark marks, some of the heavier set girls, the inside of the thighs sometimes is a little darker. Mm. Even the smaller girls. We clearing all that up. We are not going into the summer with the crunch. Come on. We leaving that in leaving, the wintertime. Leaving leave in the wintertime. Okay. So okay. Get the pretty kitty. Okay. Pretty kitty. Okay. We got products out here, ladies and gentlemen. We got products. It's definitely going down. It's really Just started official. to, listen, we got the label going, World of Dreams. Mm. We working. And you had a lot of like black girl magic that was going on, on your page. Oh, yeah. I saw a lot of rap chicks in one video. Like, oh, well, tell yeah. me about that because I like to see that. Listen, I just feel like we're in a time in music. I don't even want to say hip hop, just the music industry that we've seen the girls fight enough. We didn't seen them do that enough. I feel like that's played out. It's enough money for all of us to get. And if I got to be the one to step up and let them know, like, all that beefing, you scaring the money off. Mm. We trying to make some money. I'm going to be the vo voice to say that. So I'm linking with all the girls. Mm. I'm not too big for none of them. You want to work? If it makes sense, we working. I'm pulling them together. They reach out to me. I'm pulling up. Like, we going to make it cool again to... Rock with the female artists like we better together versus come on now. You the queen, I'm the queen. No, I'm the queen in my head, right. and you the queen in your head. So it's we both the queens. queens we finna work. Okay, now let me know your Instagram real quick. My Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at Amy Luciani World. I ain't got to spell it out for the slow slows. Stop man. playing. I'll do it anyway, cause folks so don't be, might be a little be too bright. Aww. Amy Luciani World. That's A M Y L U C I A N I World. Make sure you follow me, Bag Lady, the single finna drop. Run them numbers up. Come on now. This the year of Luciani now. Come on, we stop coming. playing with her. Stop playing with Big Amy. Hey, yeah. Bag Lady about to be out in a second, man. Y'all make sure y'all go get that. Let's get some money. It's going Let's down. Get it. Amy Luci. Let's yeah, do it. Let's do it. Trap House booming.